Are your database performance needs outgrowing your current hardware? Are you thinking of upgrading, but concerned about the disruption to your business, not to mention the costs? Well, did you know running a single Oracle database across multiple servers not only provides high availability, but also enables horizontal scaling and increases performance? Let me show you how. There are generally two approaches to scaling performance. Vertical scaling, also known as scaling up, and horizontal scaling, or scaling out. Both approaches are similar in that they involve adding computing resources. But there are distinct differences between the two in terms of performance, downtime, and cost. With the more traditional vertical scaling approach, we add more power, such as CPU, RAM, etc., to an existing machine as we need it, or we swap out the server altogether and bring in a more powerful one. Of course, we know that having one large machine creates a single point of failure. This needs to be addressed. But from a scalability and performance perspective, there are additional challenges to this approach. Typically, an upgrade to the hardware requires a system outage, which can be disruptive to the business. Upgrading older hardware often doesn't provide a good return on our investment, and sometimes just moves the performance bottleneck elsewhere in the server. The alternative, replacing the old server with a new, larger, and more powerful one, is even more expensive and leaves us with the old hardware to find a home for. Even then, the larger machine still has performance limits. So what's the solution? Horizontal scaling adds more machines to the pool of resources, which is almost always more desirable than vertical scaling because you won't get caught in a resource deficit. Oracle Real Application Clusters, or RAC, scales horizontally by running multiple instances of the same Oracle database, each on its own server. All servers have access to all the data in shared storage. The database spans multiple servers and yet appears as a single unified database to applications. Rack lets us use commodity hardware to reduce TCO and to easily and cost-effectively scale. If we need more horsepower, we can add additional nodes instead of replacing the existing servers. The only requirement is that servers in the cluster must run the same operating system and the same version of Oracle. They don't have to be the same model or capacity, which saves on capital expenditures, allowing us to buy the latest generation servers and use them alongside existing servers. All this can be done online without downtime and no application code changes are required either, so Rack is seamless to our applications and our users. Since we're discussing Rack, we can't not mention high availability, Rack's other big value prop. In a Rack cluster, each instance of the database is in constant communication with its neighboring instances, checking on the health of each other. If one of these instances stops responding, the surviving instances immediately pick up the workload, allowing the application to continue operating and the users to carry on. When the failed server is repaired, it's brought back online and rejoins the cluster and participates in the workload. All of this occurs without downtime. This is why Rack offers the highest ROI of any solution on the market, because there are no idle resources standing by waiting for a failure. All servers are active and participating in the workload. And Rack works in a similar manner for planned maintenance. For example, if we want to patch an environment, we can do so in a rolling manner, one server at a time, all while the overall system continues running. To get started with Oracle Rack, make sure to check out these great resources, including our recent webcast with PayPal, Scaling OLTP Workloads with Oracle Rack. The rest of our Did You Know video series, especially the ones covering Oracle performance technologies like database in memory, partitioning, and advanced compression. And of course, you can visit oracle.com, where you'll find many additional resources on Rack and other database technologies. Thanks for listening.